Well, after I heard that uh, no one had come forward other than my wife, but uh, she wasn't a donor, and I know that Alan was in desperate need. Uh, he'd been looking for uh, a donor since March of last year, and uh, I found out in August that uh, he was still looking, and I, I felt that it was uh, something I should do, at least find out if I'm a match. And uh, it just from the first time I went in, and uh, it was positive. I just felt it was going to be, it was meant to be, that it was going to be something that would happen, and it, luckily it did. Here we are today. I think it's a great fourth. I mean, I'm seeing Alan here healthy, and his family happy, and uh, I just think of what, if I hadn't come forward, what what he'd be like right now, and it's, it's given me so much enjoyment just knowing that he's doing well. What about you, Alan? How's it different this year? No. Just to know that uh, that I'm feeling healthy because uh, Ken was able to donate his kidney, and just everything is much better. You know, I don't have to worry about my health like I did last year. And have a lot more energy and just feel a lot more positive. I don't. I don't feel that it's it's my decision to tell other people how they should what they should do. But I, for me personally. I thought it was uh, for what I went through. It was it was it wasn't difficult at all. I mean, this just testing and then the uh, after the operation, there's a period of uh, uh, getting better. But I I think it was well worth it. Well worth it. Well, I think that <laughs> that it would be good for them to be able to speak to people like Ken who have donated uh, to find out what the experience is. Uh, I I agree with Ken that it definitely is a personal decision. Uh, I think that I think that people should be aware, you know, that there is a need out there, uh, and if people feel that that is something that they would want to do, it would be greatly appreciated by those people in, in need.